Why doesn't this make any sense? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. This stuff is hard. But you just asked me why you need to draw a fruit on the side of the circle. <laughs> the words are very similar. I said tangent, non tangerine. Hey guys. Hey Jessica. Okay, I know that you heard about me and Marcus. I know you liked him and- I don't like him! Not that way. He's... He's just a friend. Well still, I just don't think we should let some guy like him make us hate each other, you know? Well... She has a point, Blue. You two could probably be good friends. I guess. Good. Us girls should always stick together. She buy? Totally. This is going to be so good. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. There's no way I'm losing to that short little weirdo. But last time? I don't care about last time. Clearly some teacher put the wrong potion on the shelf. Otherwise she would have been fine. Let's go. No, 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 no! This can't be happening. She's just a girl. An innocent little girl. There has to be some mistake here. What do I do? What do I do? What am I supposed to do? Yo, dude, what's up? What do you want, Aiden? Whoa, chill out. Let's get you all worked up. I'm just stressed, okay? Dude, just chill. No, Aiden. I'm not gonna chill. Just shut up and leave me alone. Jeez. Hey, Aiden. What's up? Marcus just freaked out on me. What? Really? Yeah, he shouted at me and yelled at me just to leave. That's not like him at all. Yeah, well that's not the only thing that's not like him. Oh, Blue, I really need to talk to you. What is your problem? What? You've been really quiet recently. You're acting strange every time I see and talk to you, and now you just suddenly shout at Aiden, who's been your best friend for years. What the heck is the matter with- Blue, please calm down, because I really need to talk to you about- No, I won't calm down. You need to explain what's going on, because- What the- Get off me! 
Wait, what was that for? You were making people stare. What is up with you, Marcus? This isn't the Marcus that I became friends with on my first day here. The Marcus that told me everything. But now you're keeping secrets. What? No, no, I'm not. Oh, oh, really? So you, so you didn't kiss Jessica at my party, huh? You know about that? Yeah, I know about that. But it's funny that I didn't hear anything about it from you. Look, I'm just really confused and stressed right now, okay? Why? About what? If your tongue wasn't far enough down her throat? Marcus, I'm so done with all of this right now, cause- Because you're my sister. What? That isn't even possible. How on earth did you come to that conclusion? The other day when I convinced you to talk to your mom about your dad, well, my mom got a phone call because girl wanted to meet her biological father, which is my dad. So that means that my dad is your dad, and that makes me feel disgusted because of my feelings and because we're- My dad's dead, Marcus. W what? Yeah. I wanted to know what he was like because he died before I could even get to see his face or get to know him. My mom never had pictures of him. It hurt her too much. But- but your little sister is adopted. My mom's friend was in a car accident and he promised we'd take care of Kyla if she didn't get better. Oh, wow. Now I feel so stupid. That's because you are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we talked. Either way, I'm happy. Me too. We should probably head back. Class will be starting soon. Yeah. Marcus? Yeah? What did you mean by because of your feelings? Oh, I, uh, I meant because we're really close, and if you were my sister, it would be weird to talk to you about some, uh, things I, um, I guess. Oh, right, of course. You coming? And I do believe that means that I win again. <laughs> oh, come on. You so cheated that time. Just because I have amazing good looks and I rock at cards. Just because your mom says it doesn't mean it's true, Aiden. Ouch. That one hurt. <laughs> Hey guys. Oh, hi Jessica. Hey, so I want to invite you guys to come out on Saturday. Where? There's a cafe near here and every Saturday they're going to be doing an entertainment night. You know, like quizzes, stand up, bingo, all that stuff. I don't know about that. Questions will probably be targeted towards adults anyway. Nope, it's just for teenagers. That's actually pretty cool. What are they doing this Saturday? Don't know. We're just gonna have to find out. I'm in. Guys? Totally! Sure, I guess. We're in! Cool. It's on the corner of Offshore Avenue. I'll see you guys there. So, today, we're focusing on Fallen Angels. I thought we weren't supposed to be starting that for another two weeks. That was the original plan, however, I have moved it forward because of um, uh, a quiz coming up, so you all need to be prepared. Okay, so the Fallen Angel is a rare being that is very powerful. Their magical powers are unbelievably strong and their bodies are very delicate. 
they can be heard by some things that have no effect on normal humans. They are said to no longer exist because of their powers. They were dangerous and attacked the humans that they once lived with happily. The angels were beaten killed if one was ever found. Now there are none left in existence. Sir, do you think that there could ever be a good fallen angel? I think it's possible. After all, not everything is bad. Do you think there are still some fallen angels left? Oh, it is, it is very highly unlikely. Less than half a percent chance of there even being a possibility. The fallen angel's power is so strong it's very hard to control. It takes years to have an angel that had the ability to control their power enough to hide it. They would be very old, so old they would have died already. A young being with that kind of power would have no way of keeping it under control. Uh, they would be a danger to not only themselves, but the people around them as well. They wouldn't be able to hide it from anyone, and that would result in the person being either tested on or, well, 